Hello everybody, it's Mama G here and I have a fantastic story for you today. But before I tell you what it is, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you found me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. All you need to do is search for at Mama G Stories. Now the book I'm going to read to you today is really beautiful. It is called How Nova Got the Star in Her Eye and it is by Eve Horn and Lucy Telfer. It's story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Mama G. Bella and Zoe always knew how to have fun. Their life was one big adventure. They travelled the world, dived in seas, walked over mountains and swung from trees. They ate tropical fruit from faraway lands and wiggled their toes on beaches of black sand. But they felt something was missing. It was always just the two of them. What if two became three? They could make bigger splashes when jumping in puddles. There would be even more arms for even more cuddles. There would be even more kisses to kiss goodnight. And waking up together would be such a delight. Bella and Zoe were so excited. They were about to go on the biggest adventure of them all. We are going to be mums, said Zoe, jumping with excitement. I can't wait, said Bella. But how do we have a baby? Bella had eggs and a womb. But did you know that two mums need a donor for the baby to grow? They had a wonderful home, happiness and love. So they made a wish to the stars above. We wish, we wish to the stars above to give us a miracle that we can love. To make our lives whole, turn two into three, so we can become a family. Their adventure began by searching for a donor. A donor is a person who gives something to someone when they need it. They searched and searched until they found exactly what they were looking for. <gasps> this donor looks perfect, said Bella. Yes, I couldn't agree more, said Zoe. For the next part of their adventure, they went to the hospital. They walked inside through the sliding doors. There were doctors and nurses on every floor. In one of the rooms was an ultrasound, a machine that can see eggs floating around. The nurse put gel on Bella's belly, then showed them a screen that looked like a telly. Ooh, one, two, three, four, can you count any more? I think I can. I think there might be six or seven there. That was exciting, said Zoe. Yes, it was. But the gel they put on my belly was very cold, laughed Bella. One month later, it was time to go back. But this time, they wore special gowns and hats. Bella laid down on a big comfy bed where a nurse helped the donor find its way to her egg. The next day, Zoe could see something in Bella's eye. As she got closer, she saw a tiny little twinkle. I think it worked, whispered Zoe. Each month that passed, Bella's belly grew bigger and the twinkle shone brighter. By three months, their baby was the size of a lemon. By six months, 
Their baby was the size of a melon. By nine months, their baby had filled Bella's tummy and was ready to come out and meet his or her mummies. Bella's tiny little twinkle had become a beautiful star. The final part of their adventure was the most magical because it was the day they got to meet their baby. Congratulations! It's a girl, said a nurse. It was the happiest day of their lives. Zoe was looking at Bella lovingly and she noticed something was missing. Oh no, she said. The star in your eye has gone. The baby opened her eyes and there it was. A tiny little twinkle. Zoe had the perfect name. Let's call her Nova, she said. That's beautiful. I love it, said Bella. Did you know a star that shines really bright is called a Nova? The end. So that's how Nova got the star in her eye. What a beautiful book. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and get yourself a copy. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so you can find out lots of other wonderful books. Bye. It's story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time.